Hey guys, today I wanted to show you um, how to remove some marks after a new car is delivered. This is a new BMW uh, A50i that I just got and the dealer has delivered the vehicle. However, I'm seeing that from the protection film that they shipped the car with, I'm finding all this glue residue that's on the car. It's here, it's here. And it looks like they're scratches, but they're not scratches. It's on the back, along here, some on the other side. I'm in my garage right now, so it's kind of tight space. Over here, you can see it. Over here, here. It's really weird because I didn't see it at the time I picked the car up. All this. It looks like gouges, like someone gouged your car with a key, but it's actually, it's glue from the protection. And I'm going to show you now how to remove that and just take it off. I could bring it back to the dealer and let them do it, but I'm not going to waste my time. I'm just going to take it off and um, I'm going to show you how to do that now. So I have three products here. I have my rabbit remover. I use this for everything, any type of tar, um, residues like this of of glue that's on the vehicle. This is an awesome remover. However, don't ever spill it inside your car. You will never ever get rid of the smell. I had that happen to me already. Not a pleasant situation. This is just water. So after we apply the rapid remover and we remove residue from the car, we will then spray it with water after we remove the glue. Just to neutralize it. And afterwards, we'll just add a little uh, detail spray, Adams polish, you know, quick wax that'll restore the protection. So I'm going to take the rapid remover and you want it in the spray mode. I'm just gonna spray it. And you'll see right away that chemical is starting to remove it. And when you use this stuff, this is the way you should use it. Just take your finger, because sometimes it needs a little more time and you don't wanna leave it on there any more time than is required. So I'm seeing good results already. I'm just gonna grab, I'm sorry, I'm doing this freehand here. I'm just gonna grab my rag, microfiber, and I'm gonna start rubbing this off. See, in some areas, and I'm putting pressure on here right now to take it off. I couldn't take it off with a rag before on its own, but you can see now, that it's coming off. And you only want to treat the areas that you need to treat. So you can see now that it has come off. And now I'm going to grab some water and I'm going to spray the area with water first. Okay, I have my water. And if you look at the car, I don't know if you can see it, but after I applied that, it created like a little fog on the paint. And it's just on the top, but it, it does do that because it's a cleaning agent. And now I'm just gonna spray it down with plain old water to neutralize the area. Take a new microfiber towel and wipe it down okay and lastly I'm gonna take some Adams I love the Adams quick wax it's the best stuff in my opinion on the market 
and I'm taking another new microfiber. So each process should have its own towel. Don't mix. And now this will protect the paint again. And now it's like glass again. It's beautiful. See that? See one mark right here. Let's clean that up. Okay. And you can see those marks are all gone. The wax has restored the paint back to what it should look like. Beautiful. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That's how you remove any type of glue, tar, road, asphalt marks, rapid remover, plain water afterwards, and then re-wax with quick wax atoms. Thanks for watching.